Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create and manage your portfolios in SharePad. In order to create a new portfolio from scratch, press the portfolio menu button and select the new portfolio option. Here we can enter a name for the portfolio, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine My ISA and click on OK. This is going to open up a blank list, so a list of shares with nothing in here. To add shares to the portfolio, uh, there are two ways of doing this. From the portfolio directly, we can go to the Add to Port menu and search for an instrument. I'm going to search for uh, GlaxoSmithKline, for example. Alternatively, we can go to one of the pre-existing lists in SharePad, for example, FTSE 350. We can select a share, go to the Add to Port menu, and press Add Selected Share to My ISA. SharePad will always offer to add the share to the last portfolio that you were viewing. Also, there you will see there's a button here at the top, Port My ISA, this will always offer a link to the last portfolio that you were viewing. If we change the portfolio to my watch list, for example, the button at the top is going to change to my watch list. If you want to add or uh, shares to a portfolio, bear in mind that if you have one of the columns selected, the Add to Portfolio button will disappear and be substituted with the Column Option buttons. If that's the case, simply press Deselect. The column will be deselected and the Add to Portfolio option will reappear. If you want to get rid of a share, just simply select it and hit delete on your keyboard or press the delete item button at the top. If you find that you've accidentally deleted a, a share that you didn't want to, as soon as you delete it, it will actually ask you in the bottom right hand corner here if you meant to do that. Uh, if you didn't and you did that accidentally, just press the undo button and whatever you've done will be undone. If you'd like to rename or delete one of your portfolios, in the Port menu, you'll find a Portfolio Management option. In here, you can rename portfolios or delete portfolios that you no longer require. Portfolios can be used as simple watch lists, but in the next video in this series, I'll be teaching you how you can record transactions that you've made so to uh, keep track of your holdings.